today my outrageously indulgent Italian style mash. So let's do it. So any good mash starts with the potatoes. Here I'm using Maris Piper. And first, the boring job of peeling the potatoes. So take your time to get those peeled. Make sure you remove any little bits of blemish. So it's a nice, creamy, smooth mash. And then you wanna chop the potatoes into inch size cubes. And once your potatoes are peeled and diced up, you wanna chuck those into a saucepan. So get them in a pan and then pop them onto the hob. Pour in some water so it just about covers the potato and then turn the heat Heat up high and we want to bring the potatoes up to a boil so stick on a lid give them a few minutes and once they're at a rolling boil take the lid off turn the heat down a touch and let the potato simmer away for about 10 minutes or so give them a quick stab with a knife and when they're ready you want to drain off the potatoes chuck them back into the same saucepan pop this onto the hob but turn off the heat and just let them sit there for about five minutes or so just so all that water evaporates after five minutes you want to get in there with a masher and mash them up thoroughly and then let them sit for another three to five minutes. While we've got a few minutes, you wanna prepare some chives. So take a small handful of chives and dice those up really nice and fine and then stick your chives into a bowl ready to garnish the potatoes. Once you've prepped your chives, you wanna turn on the hob and stick it on medium and we're going to want some unsalted butter. Chuck in a nice few generous knobs of your butter, give that a good mashing up and then we want some full fat milk. Add a nice splash of your milk don't worry how much you put in because we can always add more later and give your mash a really good mashing up and a stirring through until it starts to get really nice and creamy. At this point, you just want to pop your mash to one side for a moment and then stick a frying pan onto the hob and we're going to want some lovely pancetta. So chuck your pancetta into the pan, give that a season with some salt, add a tiny dash of olive oil and then you want to fry the pancetta off until it is really nice and crispy. And very quickly, give the video a thumbs up by hitting in the like button below. Once your pancetta is golden brown and crispy, you wanna remove about one quarter of the pancetta that we're gonna use as a garnish and the rest of the pancetta and all of that fat goes straight in with the mash. Give the mash a really good stir through and then the next ingredient we want is some lovely creamy mascarpone cheese. Add a tablespoon or so of your mascarpone. You can always add more. Stir the mascarpone into the mash and then see how creamy it is. Usually you're gonna need another tablespoon spoon and at this point you want to give the potatoes a nice season with some sea salt and the next ingredient we want some parmesan cheese so grate in a really nice generous handful of your parmesan and then give everything a really good mashing up and just quickly guys make sure you hit that subscribe button below and once you've got a really nice smooth mash give it a quick taste adjust the seasoning if you need add another blob of mascarpone another splash of milk and when you're happy with the smoothness of your mash we're ready to serve so chuck your mashed potatoes onto a plate and then you want to finish by garnishing with some of that pancetta and a nice sprinkle of your chives. Give it a try and I'll see you next time.